For the next part of our Architana, we're going to look at actually putting a window in the end. And this is where we'll see what's happened because of the shell that we've already done. To do this, we're going to click on the right hand side and then we're going to view it from the right as well. We'll start a new sketch as we always have to and then we're going to draw out the shape of our window. So it's going to be a rectangle. At the moment, I'm not going to worry about dimensions while I'm drawing it. And then once it's drawn in, I'm then going to start to put them in. So I want the gap from the side to be even on both sides. So I'm going to set that to be 250 millimeters. I've already defaulted my workplace units to be millimeters. So I can just type in 250. If you haven't done the workspace units, you'll need to put MM at the end. And if you do it anyway, it doesn't cause any harm. It will still work. And I'm going to do the same gap from the top as well. So just click in on a dimension tool, the line to the outside line, and it'll give you the distance between. And then click to say that's the one you want, and it will finish it for you. Type in a number and press enter. There we go. We have our window drawn. The distance from the bottom, I'm going to have it a little bit higher. I'm going to have it 650 millimeters. So it's got space for a seat or something in front so people can look out of that. I'm then really happy with my rectangle. So I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to press the green tick. I'll rotate back to more of a 3D view and I'm going to extrude it to remove it from the side. I'm going to press remove and then I'm going to click on the window. The other place you could click is actually on the sketch itself in your history line. So either one's absolutely fine. I only need it to go through the thickness of the wall and if you remember we shelled it at 20 so if I make that 20 that will go just through so it's absolutely perfect and then the merge scope is already done for you because there's only one part so you don't need to worry about anything here except for the dimension and remove and it should be going back in so that arrow should be pointing left if it's po pointing the other way you can flip it by just pressing there then finish that extrude and we have our first window done nice and easy what we're going to do now is a door we're going to put a door on the front so I'm going to click onto here this is where if you've got a different design you're going to change the dimensions to suit your own work I'm just giving you examples of how this will work the one thing to bear in mind when we're drawing the door, we don't want to go all the way to the floor because there's actually a floor to the container. So we need to keep it 20 millimeters above that bottom line. So I've clicked on the front. I'm going to view it square on to make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to start a new sketch on the front work plane. Okay. Which is face of extrude one. It's all done for you. I'm going to draw the rectangle in. Again, don't worry about dimensions at this stage just yet. Just draw it in the center. I'm going to make it a big bifolding door. So I'm going to make it the same as the window from the top. So it's 100, 250, sorry. I'm then going to make it the same from the side. So 250 from each side as well. And it should work quite nicely in terms of the aesthetics when it's done. So 250 there. And the distance to the bottom, if you can remember what we just discussed, so that we don't cut into the floor, has to be 20 millimeters. So it's almost to the bottom, but there's a tiny little gap, which is the thickness of the metal that the container is actually made from. So we finish that sketch. We're going to extrude, and then we're going to remove that feature. We'll look at it a little bit more in 3D. Just zoom out, and I'm going to click on Sketch 3. 20 millimeters here making sure that remove is still selected and the arrow is pointing in the correct direction merge scope is already set for you because again we still only got that one part and we click tick and you can see the the opening for my doors has now been put in too so we've got the doors and we've got the window it's starting to look a bit more like the container that we're trying to design good luck